doing time for another chit chat i don't know y'all because of the way that this apartment is situated it's really hard for me to set up my entire camera equipment the little bit that i do have left in a way where i could effectively and efficiently do videos so i do apologize it means echoing in here we didn't decorate because we don't plan on being here long. So anyway, let's get straight into the chit chat. I'm going to talk about what's going on in my personal life, talk about what I'm watching on YouTube, and then talk about what I'm watching on TV. And we're going to talk about this hair. Huh, this hair. So y'all, my hair, I love the shape of my hair. I oftentimes have gotten questions on, how did you get your hair this shape? Um, I didn't do anything in particular my hair grows in this shape because of the different hair textures so uh, my last chit chat i think i mentioned about jb making friends and praise the god he has made friends at school and here in the apartment complex you know i'm, I'm gonna look at y'all while i'm talking about this part i think it is very important as individuals that we speak what we want basically manifest manifestation we speak it out loud no matter what the circumstances are and i'm a firm believer in this and so when he was upset about it there's not anything i could do besides pray for my child and encourage him right so for about two weeks straight every morning i would decree and declare over my baby i would say jb we are going to make friends I say, I want, I want you to repeat after me. We are going to make friends either at school or here in the apartment complex. And so I could tell he didn't, you know, he's eight years old. He's like, what the hell? No. <laughs> so excuse my language, y'all. But he would repeat it. And I tell you what, by the second week, he had made friends both here and at the apartment complex. Now, maybe one of the friends that he made here kind of tried to put my hands, his hands on my baby and jb came inside and you can tell when your children something's not right let me back up first off y'all know me i've already told jb if someone puts their hands on you you have every single right to defend yourself okay we taught our child that and he did that besides another one i was the only parent actively going out there like every 30 minutes to make sure everything was okay because i don't feel comfortable we don't know who these people are that live live around here you know what i mean and so i made it clear to jb you can stay your butt right here in the uh park and we can see the park from our apartment window but anyway i digress contacted apartment people they were like oh we will contact the father too contact the father everything's fine but yeah it's 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 okay everything's okay now but yeah you gotta teach your children how to defend themselves and because this is just something that they were go through um unfortunately and so you know everyone here is super nice y'all and i know girl i know you told me one of you said that you wish that your apartment was quiet now we did have someone to move above us now let me tell you something a quick little story so before they moved in this couple that moved in above us i kept hearing this noise and i was like what the hell they and i already had some people move above us and i don't know about this so i kept you know well i didn't keep i went outside a couple of times just you know humming around and just trying to see if i could keep, get a peek of who the hell this is because to me i was like this sounds like some 300 pound person walking around in freaking cowboy boots what the hell so finally i saw the leasing agents at the front off from the front office walk down down i'm not gonna give their real names so we're gonna call them kim and pam i'm like oh hey kim and pam they said oh hey vivian and one of them she's from atlanta she said i knew that was you down here humming was that you down here humming i said what are you talking about she said well i was telling pam this is kim right kim I was telling Pam, I could hear Vivian down there. Uh, she probably got on some sundress and flip-flops uh, singing some old Negro spiritual. Y'all, I looked at her and I looked down at me. <laughs> and sure enough, I had, on, I had on a spring dress and flip-flops. I said, yes, that was me. And was that you guys upstairs? She's like, yeah, we're upstairs, you know, prepping the apartment. You know, you have some new neighbors. I said, so that was your ass up there. I said, what are you, a size 10, 12 shoe? You up there walking around in cowboy boots? What the hell you do? They started laughing. They, they got a kick out of that. We kikied about that. So I brought them in because I had told them, because they're both sisters. I had told them, look, 
my husband don't need to know about all these hair products. I need for y'all to get y'all fluffy dead butts. They ain't even fluffy. I need for y'all to come out here and get some um, supplies, some hair supplies or whatever. And so sure enough, baby, I have gotten rid of 80% of my hair products, y'all. I have I haven't counted, which I'm really not into that, but I do know at one point before we moved over here, I had about 150 plus products. I have less than 50. Easily less than 50. And I'm not buying anymore. Don't send me anything. Don't know. Mm -mm, I don't need anything because we're shipping a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I can't get these damn nails off, girl. Let's just look at the nails I'm gonna wear. We're shipping a lot of stuff and I need to have room. Okay, so that was funny. Um, also, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I have that type of personality and I think it's my Southern upbringing. When I see people, I introduce myself and I meet them, but I'm not a type of person, if it's a group of people, I won't go in it. I just won't do that. So, um, I think my husband came in. Um, one person I met and I introduced myself because he was walking around, he was blind, he's blind. And so I you just, you know, chit chatting with him and I asked him, you know, if it's okay, you know, was he born blind? He said actually he had gotten shot. He got shot in the head when he was 20 years old. Um, he's 40, I think he said he's 41, 42. And half of his face had to be completely reconstructed the bullet went in and out um and you know we were just talking again i think i was talking to him for about 15 minutes but interestingly enough i asked him i said well since you you know lost your your vision did any of your other senses heightened well he said no because in his case since he had this horrible you know accident he actually lost some of his smell um sense of taste but he did say that he can pick up on people's energy. I said, really? He's like, yeah, um, I can basically tell, you know, being around. He didn't get into detail and I didn't really want to pry, pry probe him. What do you, y'all know I can't talk. I didn't really want to go there with him, but he basically said he could pick up. And by the way, that boy that hit my son, he said that he tries to stay away from him. But I'm, JV and I kind of already figured there's something going on. But anyway, y'all, that's interesting, huh? Very interesting. So what else is going on, y'all? Y'all, apartment living is going well. Look, I went over to the apartment. I am OCD when it comes to cleaning. I'm not as good as I used to be. But look, since people have been going in and out of the house, I went over and I cleaned the floors. I went over and I cleaned the floors like a couple of days ago. We're supposed to be meeting up with the real estate agent tomorrow to get all the paperwork signed and we are done y'all. And then off it is to Texas to start looking at. I need for that real estate agent. She need to be on it because there's hardly no inventory in Texas right now. So I'm kind of worried about it, but I, I, I don't want to get anxious, you know, about that in particular. So, um, what else what else what else I started working at like i told y'all a couple of uh weeks ago um and yeah i'm supposed to be at the gym now but um that's not gonna happen so <laughs> we're not going to the gym oh what else is going on okay what i'm watching on youtube girl nothing watching divorce court um i am watching some videos on um being feminine and feminine energy which i wholeheartedly agree with um, that's basically what my she room was, you guys. I wanted my she room to be that escape where I can go in that has all my girly stuff. And it's just, you know, it's pink and white and soft colors so I can feel, because I'm that type of person. Um, I, I do believe all of us have both masculine and feminine energy. And actually, so one of the things I've done is to create a little small space at my desk that has some of the stuff that I had in my she room. Cute little pictures, I have some lavender oil and all of that so I can check into that head space. Oh, girl, back to back to YouTube. So yeah, not really much. Watching a lot of Ashley Mellis. Girl, while I was watching on YouTube, which is kind of going to kind of bleed into um, uh, what I'm watching on TV. I was watching, what is it? It's not Married to Medicine. Love and marriage. 
let me tell you something. I may have to go back and watch a few seasons because that one guy, his name is Martel, and I believe he was having a whole family with another. He had a girlfriend while he was married, while his wife was giving birth. And so I watched some episodes and I look at reviews by Ashley. And he is your stereotypical narcissistic, if I can't have you, no one can have you. Um, he's he's not physically abusive, but he definitely is. And he just has all this aggression and just I'm glad that his wife got out of that relay, that marriage, because that is toxic. He, I feel like he walks around with this attitude of whatever who whoever gets with him is lucky. They are the lucky one, not him. Okay, is you lucky that I chose you, even if you are a side piece. You are lucky. That's the attitude I get from him. Again, it's called love and marriage. And I'm like, uh, this is this is not love. And this is definitely sure as hell ain't no marriage. Honey, I'm not watching any of those other shows. I'm not watching um any of the real housewives shows. I understand that Portia has love Housewives of Atlanta. I understand that Cynthia has love. So who are who are the OGs that I love? Who is it? Um, the one that's out when she always talking, sound like she crying. Candy. <laughs> Candy is the only OG love. Did they give Marlo a peach? I think that show has ran its course. Honestly, I think all of the Real Housewives, the fr franchise itself, it's run its course. I mean, how long have they been on the air? No. So I finished Blood and Water. Absolutely amazing. I love this little show, y'all. I may go back and watch season one. Blood and Water is based out of South Africa. Absolutely loved it. Um, I started to watch a show called uh, Made. This is on Netflix. It's cute. I like it. I really like it. Um, I have on my history a bunch of scary stuff, which I probably won't get to. Um, oh, as far as YouTube, I do watch those little alter, scary, like they're like 15 minutes and under, little short movies that I watch on there. Um, I know I'm all over the place, y'all. I do apologize. Back to YouTube also. As far as my channel go, y'all, my views are ridiculously low. Um, and as I said, it's really difficult to do hair related videos because I don't feel like my hair is being, you can't really see my hair that well on the camera because I don't have my lights available in this apartment. With that being said, I, I it can get discouraging when you take the time and the energy to post videos and they barely hit on 400 views. Um, I have 30,000 subscribers and at this point I should be getting in a thousand views. At least 800. Ago. So yeah, that's a little discouraging, but we're all feeling it. All of us are feeling that. But then you have other people who, there's some channels I lurk and they don't have nearly as many subscribers and they are getting thousands of views. And it's all hair related though. I am done with my hair. I mean, I'm more, I shouldn't say I'm not, I'm not done with my hair. I do have several product videos that I'm going to be posting, but I'm more than just my hair. Um, and then the vlogs that people that again the people that have these high views it's they're very entertaining i don't have a lot going on right now you know what i mean um some of these people go shopping they go out to eat who i absolutely love is sharika um sharika b and so she's out in florida and so uh she goes out shopping she goes out to eat with friends i ain't got a lot of friends here and i'm not meeting up with none of these hussies so my vlogs, and this is the thing I also found, that when I was struggling as a single mom, just around the corner here, we, we lived in these apartments, I was getting more views then. And I had way less subscribers. So it's interesting what people, you know, what they'll tune into. You know, I think as humans, we migrate to people that have similar lifestyles than us or extremely different lifestyles. You see what I'm saying? So. It is what it is. I'm not going to say anything about, oh, I'm going to stop making videos, you know, because, you know, people ain't watching. But it's just very discouraging when you put in the effort and you still get low views. So it is what it is. So um, we're going to get to the squid game. Let me tell you all something. The Bible says that... <laughs> No, seriously, y'all. I got to episode four. I have to cut it off. I can't do 
if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert, I cannot do a lot of gore. And this is almost like gore porn, like trauma porn, like over and over and over and over. There. Like you don't even get a break. I can't do that. Like I stopped watching The Walking Dead because of that. So I understand it's good. And thank you to those of you who did suggest this series, I suggest that you read the book of Matthews because girl, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. I could not, I can't do all of that. I really can't from my heart to yours. Thank you, but I can't do it. Um, I also think that as someone who watches a lot of stuff that is like that, well, used to watch, not anymore. That's on the, I think I kind of figure out what's going on. Again, spoiler alert, I think the older man is in on it just by the third or fourth episode because what was it like the first the first game he was already scooting up front like the number one he was already scooting up front and when they show the overall view of the participants or the players no one is really as old as he is so why is he one of the, i mean the demographics are it's the participant demographics vary but you would think there would be a lot more old people. He is really old. Like, he looked like he's 80-something years old. So, yeah. I think he's in on it. Yeah, he was scooting up on the front. And then, what, when they did the... What game? When they did the tug-of-war game, he was telling them how to play it. Okay. So, you in it. You in on it. Then, you 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 part of you probably the man behind the mask. You probably cloned yourself. And the person behind the, the, um, the black mask is probably you, too. <laughs> Gary, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to finish it. Sorry. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to, instead, I'm going to watch Made. Um, and there was another movie with, it has Denzel Washington's son. And I think it's a time traveling movie. And I'm going to watch that. So, y'all, that is it. I need to go in here and um, start working again. I need to eat. Clearly, I didn't do my nails. Because y'all were bothering me. So I had to come on here and do this short video. So that is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.